Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be reviewing this 40 amp thermal circuit breaker from Titokas. The purpose of a circuit breaker, like this one, is to protect your electrical wire from overheating and potentially catching on fire. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the different parts of this breaker and going to show you how to install this product in your electrical system. Let's get into the details. When you first receive this product, it comes in this nice cardboard box, which includes temperature and time graphs. And for those interested, this breaker is made in China. Now we're going to open this box and take out the contents. This is what the breaker looks like. You've got your terminal posts to attach to your hot wire, and you got these post caps for protection. In the event of an overcurrent situation, this yellow tab, it will pop out and break the circuit to cut the flow of power. This is a 40 amp breaker, which you can refer to here. So the yellow tab is designed to pop out when more than 40 amps of current is flowing through the wire. This yellow button here is to manually break the circuit, which you can use if you want to conduct routine maintenance or trouble fix your electrical system. Just push the button and the tab comes out breaking the circuit. To establish the connection, you simply push the tab back into the slot. These are quarter of an inch terminal posts. So to, co to connect these posts to your wires, you'll need quarter of an inch terminal lugs. In this example, I'm going to use these quarter of an inch lugs, which accommodate eight gauge wire. To make the connection, you'll first want to crimp this lug onto your wire. Then to make the connection, unscrew the two nuts from the terminal posts and place the lugs over the terminal posts. You can orient these lugs either vertically, diagonally, or horizontally. It doesn't really matter and depends on the layout of your electrical system. Finally, to fix everything together, place the hex nuts back over the post. In this video, I'm finger tightening these hex nuts, but you'll want to use a ratchet for more torque and a tighter hold. And that's it. Our only two criticisms of the product is that these protective rubber caps are a little flimsy, and this product doesn't come with any screws to fix the breaker onto the surface material. So you'll need to pick up some screws yourself. But other than that, it's a pretty nice breaker and well-constructed. We've been using this in our DIY camper van and recommend them. Building an electrical system in a camper van can be complicated. Just look at all the products that you'll need. That's why we provide an electrical wiring ebook filled with simple, intuitive wiring diagrams and product and tool recommendations to help you build your system as fast as possible. To access this free ebook, click the link in the description below or head over to our website's homepage. Happy building!